Okay, here is the uh, NR22L. Um, here at the end we've got our static ball, a long line of wire, and then to our phasing array, and then all the way back here to uh, the swing down, such a large antenna that it uh, it uh, can uh, be uh, dismounted or set down so you can get into your garage. And then there's the main bottom body. Um, you can adjust the lengths on both the phaser and uh, here for uh, tuning. Although I have not had to uh, tune this one. I, uh, the factory uh, cut was pretty good. And uh, there's the bottom which is pretty beefy which includes a uh, P50-259 uh, male to connect into a, uh, of course, 239, which I have on this uh, triple magnet mount. It's uh, got quite a bit of play to it. Um, it can really stretch and uh, move and flex, and the uh, triple magnet mount does not give. You really have to... It's uh, the the bottom wire is uh, very thick and heavy, as you've seen in the uh, top part of the uh, whip, is much thinner. Um, I've hit quite a few things with it, a uh, few uh, bank drive-throughs and whatnot on accident, and a lot of trees, and uh, has not been damaged one bit. It seems to be pretty tough. Here we have the instruction sheet for the diamond antenna NR22L. Um, basically it just lists itself as a high performance monoband mobile antenna optimized for 2 meter, uh, the 144 to 148 amateur section of 2 meter. And we'll get down to the uh, specifications here. Um, of course, the frequency it's made for is 144 to 148 megahertz, the American 2 meter amateur. Gain is listed at 6.5 dB, but it's 6.5 dBi. Um, 100 watts maximum power. I've put as much as 85 through it with my Elenco Mobile. Seems to handle that no problem. Um, BSWR, 1.5 to 1 nominal. We're going to test that in a clip here. Um, and basically it is two 5 8 wave uh, antennas phased together and it's 97 inch and uh, that's basically what we need to know. Um, and it uh, tells you how to tune some installations desirable trim from each element taking a little bit from each element. Um, I have not tuned it and it works fantastic from the factory so far. And big note, uh, not recommended for magnet mounts and I've conveniently uh, <laughs> for, forgot that, uh, that whole part. Okay, let's try uh, some SWR testing on the big NR22L. Um, this is only a 50 watt transceiver, so I don't think I've got the power to reach uh, any uh, any of the nearby uh, repeaters because they're all 70 miles away. Okay, 144.020 megahertz. This is Kilo, Foxtrot, Zero, Charlie, Sierra, Mike doing a radio test, radio test. And now we're going to try 147, an output of one. Th we're now going to try an output of uh, 147, 970. This is Kilo, Foxtrot, Zero, Charlie, Sierra, Mike, doing a radio test, radio test. Now an output of 145.98 megahertz, about close to the middle of the band. 
This is Kilo, Foxtrot, Zero, Charlie, Sierra, Mike. Radio test, radio test. Okay, as a note, um, when I just tested between the 62-inch whip and the 97-inch whip, at this, uh, on the shorter whip, I was getting Williston, North Dakota, and with the 97-inch whip, I'm getting uh, Jamestown. But I'm not getting uh, 162.5, and the 62-inch whip was receiving that. coming in uh, better from Canada on the 97-inch whip.